Hello everyone, welcome to JHC Gaming, your number one source for Shotgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Enjoy the video. Hey, what is up guys? Johnny here back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, I look at my hat collection with you guys. It's been requested in the comments on one of my previous YouTube videos. So yeah, let's start uh, with the one I'm wearing right now. It's the Covered Agent. It was available as a reward in one of previous events. And it's a reskin of the Seer Helmet. And I kept both because on my Seer Helmet, I put my color uh, special paint from the Chinese New Year. But I love this one guys and it's not popular and I don't know why but when it came out as a event reward everyone was bashing it. They said this thing sucks and it's ugly. But you guys I disagree. I love this thing. I wear it often. So let's keep going okay. Because we got like 75 hats I cannot talk too much. But let's go with Fraggle Lantern. Uh, there was like 6 different colors on that one. Maybe 5-6 colors. It was a Halloween event reward in October. 2018 i don't know why i picked the purple but i like this thing with the samurai swag i used uh, this is the demon hat but it's a reskin for the melee mayhem event this is a pilgrim helmet and uh, i need to show you guys because the visor is yellow that was available in the turkey shoot event it is a reskin but the visor is uh, glowing yellow it's pretty epic uh, then we got the kringle hat from the christmas event only available in December for two weeks. I don't know if you call it Christmas event or a New Year's event, but hey, this thing's badass and I was really hyped when I got it. Ceremonial Guard, another reskin, dog toy or something. Dog toy. Anyways, I got that one in uh, an event not long ago. This is the Raiden hat from uh, Chinese New Year. Uh, once again, welding mask, pretty common. And uh, it's uh, I wanna be a PUBG guy. This is the Explorer Helmet, aka Descendants, wearing that, aka Hello 3 ODST. I like that one. And uh, it was, I think, it, the Daily Mission Rewards. And I was hyped when I got it in one of my videos. This is uh, Jungle Ranger, aka Jungle Fever. Yanni won Fashion Icon of the Week with that hat. Pretty cool. Pilot Hat. Uh, this one's coming back next week, by the way, in the PvP Event Rewards. With uh, dual colors, yellow and blue. It's gonna be super nice. Vanguard helmet, I don't know. It's common rarity. I don't see it often though. It seems like nobody's wearing that thing. But it's pretty cool for real. I don't know. There's a little something. It fits the sci-fi team. Like the explorer hat, I guess. I like it, man. I don't know why nobody wears that. I don't know. There's a lot of hats in this game. But not all of them are popular. This is Nate Gore. Tuscan helmet and uh, what did we say this week iron iron giant or something like that the the movie this thing is also very nice and yeah I played with Nate Goyer last week he was wearing it this is chaperone I think not sure but is that one the one bag of soups using for is Captain America or is it the one without the the chin guard this is dead zone top hat it's the reward for having a Shadowgun Dead Zone account. It's uh, another game from Madfinger Games. And it just shut down like a month ago. So uh, if you had an account, they will uh, give you a code. And you get that with the sticker that's on it also. Dead Zone Top Hat. And what we got next, the Evil Overlord, aka White Flower. Uh, the hats here, they're the same. But different name, different description. Shadowgun Legends cap was a pre-registration reward. And then Shadowgun cap, it was in an event not long ago. I think anniversary. Now next is a Uncommon Bank Robber, aka DJ Ski Mask. That one, um, I, it took me forever. It's always in the shop. You can just buy it if you want. But it's also in the crate from willow or big red for selling 200 or 250 items you get crates as rewards and this is a one percent drop a one percent chance to get this in a crate when you open one of these crates and after a year i finally got it about two weeks ago or last week and i was not recording unfortunately 
would have been an epic moment. I love this thing. I don't know why, but I like it. <laughs> DJ Ski Mask. Uh, but yeah, I got the red eyes in the back, so not looking that great. But still, I like it, and I will wear it maybe in the future. Uh, next, we got the space hat, space helmet. It's super OG. When the game came out, there was not hundreds and hundreds of hats, and that was one of my first hats. That one and the, the cat. Uh, now we get Infinity Racer. Um, sorry, boys. Infinity Racer, Neon Biker, and Photon Drifter. It's three of the four new hats. There's one I don't have. And I, I got all of them as gifts. I didn't buy one. So people were sending me these things. Were sending me these things. So thanks again, guys. You guys are awesome. Vanguard, aka Iron Man. All the guys wearing Iron Man type cosplays and trying for cosplay of the week. This is the hat you're looking for. Vanguard hat. Pretty cool. That, I think, was uh, event reward also. I repainted white, but it's... Uh, I can't remove the paint, but it's it's black and red, uh, red under, yeah, remove customization, see? So also one of the first cosmetic hat we had as uh, event rewards, and then yeah, it's cool for the free to play guys that don't buy stuff, they have a chance to have cool hats. Then we got Outlander Star, Grasshopper, and one of my favorite ever, the Jack Rabbit. this is really cool and it looks good with almost anything you can't go wrong with that one what's the name again jack rabbit so yeah jack rabbit and grasshopper pretty cool pretty og also yeah i don't see them often man like what well, people wear lots of stuff but not the grasshopper all right next is the hulkster probably top five like top five ugliest I would say this is Hulk Hogan but I don't know man there's so many cool hats in the game life is too short you don't wear Hulkster <laughs> alright this one also was reskin in the Chinese New Year double dragon hat not not that nice uh, this is the hipster hat it's not the the whiteout sheets it has the um, the icon of the sheets but it's actually a reward for fashion icon of the week. Hipster hat. It is pretty rare. You need to win fashion icon for that. Next, we have the SWAT visor helmet. I like that thing and I did wear it a lot with my SWAT swag, aka DJ BBC. This is the gas mask. I don't see it often, but I remember seeing one this week. It's pretty cool. It's just I don't like the the back. I guess if you have a cool haircut. I don't even know if it works with haircuts. I think it's just whatever you have is going to be like that, right? Anyways. Next is the year one helmet. This is available in the shop for real money. If you buy the anniversary bundle, there was a full set of armor, some paint, some cosmetics. I don't know if it's still available, guys. Uh, but yeah. This is also a cool hat. Uh, Kabuto for all your ninja samurai stuff. The gunslinger cowboy hat. It's pretty unique because of the, how do you say, binocular or something on the eye. Yeah, pretty cool. Next, Smoke Eater, one of my favorite ever. It's another one that seemed to be, whatever you wear, it always looked good, man. Uh, this is the Helma Prospector hat. This is the Nautilus and it's special to me because it's the one I was using when I won Fashion Icon of the Week a long time ago. Purple Trader was the swag and there's the Infiltrator. Maybe that's the one bag of suit using for Captain America. This is Ninja Static Conquistador and this is the one that there's a mission I did earlier today or yesterday where you gotta rescue a shadow gun that's in jail or something and he's wearing that hat so it's it's awesome and then uh public disorder man this one also looks epic and i'm surprised not more people use that one i think it's also one of the loading screen guys right yeah this is definitely one of the og loading screen guys this is loose cannon there was also a reskin with glowing green 
in one of the previous events and it's pretty rare now because it's an old event and I didn't buy one. Now this one Spectral Drift is uh, the same as the Smoke Eater but it's got unique custom stripe paint uh, purple and black and uh, this paint super rare you see I didn't paint it it's, it comes like that uh, in one of the bundles that you can buy with real money. And we're getting there guys. Leonidas also is a reward pretty common. There's two versions I think and one with the the red thing on top. And that one's super rare war child daisy was a bundle you buy for charity and they give you cosmetic and, and stickers I think. So war child daisy can show you real quick. But it's a very nice one. Really really nice. All right now the ninja rare hat it's all cosmetic hats by the way whatever it is there's no helmet and there's no there's no mask it's all hats so ninja hat the shark hat aka zypher and then we got these two seraph and necro hunter helmet it comes with the necro hunter bundle but this one you can buy separately and the visor is blue instead of uh, translucent gray black so they uh, go with the Necro bundle. Now you got the white shade, white out shades, aka Luke Cage. This is cool. Super Kush used to wear that, I think. But yeah, it doesn't look that good on my character. Freyrunner, pretty common. It used to drop in dungeons. Sulaco, it came with the bundle that I'm wearing right now, the Sulaco bundle, uh, aka Xenomorph bundle, I think. But yeah, I like it, but. This again, too many cool hats in the game. Not gonna wear that much. And now we have Captain Killzone. It's also unique, uh, and people have been using it for sure in some uh, fashion squads of the week and stuff. Really like that one. Next is the Smiley Reaper. I never, never been a fan of that one. Too common. Used to drop. Uh, for a long time in hive mind everyone was wearing it and uh, now we have vortex creeper that is also an og loading screen character that you see if you've been playing this game for a while yeah i don't know if it's still in some loading screens i just don't pay attention much but this one's special because of that it is og next is the uh aquanaut hat aka noob hat because it's probably one of the first hat you get for free in the game uh, in the Road to Legends. But it used to be pretty rare and I was looking for that one for such a long time. But when I finally got it, it was super common. Now this is the Met Horse, aka the worst unicorn ever. It's gotta be in my bottom five guys of worst hats in the game if I ever do a top five. The Golden Skull, the same as the other skull, but it's uh, in the, the shop bundle. Emperor bundle, I think you get gold paint and stuff. This is Lower Wolf the Prowler. I love that one, by the way. Another demon hat, but it's the old one, the original. Uh, MFG hat used to be super rare, but uh, for some reason they gave it in the the Christmas event in the boxes, and now everyone has it. It's super common. Okay, we're getting close to the end. Hippo. It's way too big, by the way, but it's uh, kind of cool still. Some of these animal hats are way oversized and uh, I don't know if it really makes a difference in PvP but I, it's a big head. Berserker hat, Berserker muzzle. The Samurai Demon comes with the Demon bundle. Now this is the Llama and I got it super late in Pedro's wheel and uh, much better than the Met Horse. I like that one. The T-Rex, another weird one, is super big. Uh, I don't know some guys wear it though I remember in King of the Hill the tongue on the side pretty pretty weird I don't know why it's green man I painted green but I don't remember why that's even worse night cat this is special for me it was one of the first that I bought for real money I paid like I think it was 1500 gold or something it's pretty expensive the bundle uh, long time ago and then of course uh, they put this thing in the vendor machine, vending machines or something, in the for watching ads. And then everyone was running in the hub with the night cat. I was annoyed, honestly. Now that that night in Rio is one of the last one I got in the Pedro's Lucky Wheel. 
If you guys want to explain it to me, uh, post something in the comments. What the hell is that thing? Can't figure it out. Pretty cool still. <laughs> and Anastasia was wearing it in the hub the other day and it was kind of sexy. This is the draw Dodger and this is a new version called Skeletal Grin. Now this is the only legendary hat I have. I think it's the only one and it's pretty ugly also. Kiss this mask. I don't know man. It's rare, kind of. Now you got the rabbit, the mad rabbit. There's a little difference. This is the original mad rabbit. It's kind of beige. But the new one from the Easter event, their eyes are red and it is white. So it's my latest addition to the collection. And last one, guys, we got their terminal gaze. It is one of my favorite hats in the game for real. I love it. I really, really love it. And uh, I used to wear it in a few of my old swags. And guys, that is it. My whole hat collection. I think I got like 75. So post a comment below what you have that I don't have and that is really, really cool. And tell me in the comments what is your favorite hat in the game. I might do some top fives later, guys. So yeah, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and I'll be back soon. Watch my other videos. Take care.